actually. And I get, ah! Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we are doing a video suggested by Haley on Patreon, which I thought was a fantastic idea. It is all about my favorite enclosures for different situations. Somewhat recently I've done videos just talking about like enclosures that I have and how they are now compared to how when I first got them compared to when I first got them and my opinions on them and all that stuff. But I don't think that I have gone through my favorite enclosures for different scenarios and so that's what we're doing today. These are just my opinions based off of tanks that I personally have had, personally have tried, so please feel free to leave your recommendations in the comments too. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Hargagos, so make sure to stay at the end of the video to find out all about this awesome company. Let's get started. All right, so my first category is going to be my favorite or my recommendations based on the price. So this is probably the reason that most of you have clicked on this video you want to know what the cheapest best enclosure is so we're just going to get to that first my first recommendation is buying any tanks second hand this is how you're going to get the best price for i guess the best bang for your buck i don't know why i don't like that phrase <laughs> but this is how you are going to get the best price for what you are getting places like facebook marketplace or craigslist anywhere that you can go and buy things locally yard sales garage sales uh thrift stores any place like that you're going to get a much better deal on what you're getting i personally have sold multiple of my tanks locally through facebook marketplace actually my mom usually does it because i get scared zaz's old tank that was gone on facebook marketplace that was sold through there you can get very good deals that way and i think i sold it for like 100 bucks maybe 150 i don't remember my mom did that again i don't know i wasn't there um but you can get really good deals that way my second best price recommendation is going to be dubia.com i don't think they're called dubiaroaches.com i think it's just dubia.com anyways i reviewed one of their tanks a while ago and i've talked about it multiple times since then these tanks are great they are very they're pretty easy to set up the only issue that i had was setting up the lid and i think that was a me issue um and they last i've had mine set up for like two three four years now something like that and it's fantastic. I'd made one minor adjustment to it just so my king snake couldn't escape the front glass doors. I don't have much else to say about it. It looks good. It has stood up and you can get from dubia.com a four foot by two foot by two foot tank for like $300. And that's like shipped, shipped. Like that's the shipping. That's everything. The entire price is like $300. It's an absolutely fantastic deal for a four foot tank. And it is mostly pvc the front is acrylic but it already is like enclosed in it's great love it so much and my third recommendation is petco's dollar per gallon sale i don't know if it's still a dollar let me let's just see let's just check really quick <laughs> formally dollar per gallon sale it's like 50 percent off tank deals formerly dollar per gallon sale so it might not be a dollar per gallon anymore but this is always a good option if you need smaller tanks so if you're getting i don't know a baby leopard gecko and you just need like a small 20 gallon for the tiny little baby that is always a really good option a really cheap option when they have it but that's the situation where you do have to wait until they have that sale and of course as you guys know they have been a sponsor here for such a long time for holding in humidity i heard geckos their conversion kits for tanks also do a fantastic job holding humidity and they're super inexpensive you do have to get the glass tank yourself but you can just buy that conversion kit and put it in it is going to require a little extra work if your animal does need like uvb light uvb light does not go through glass so you might have to do a little more diy with that glass tank like installing a screen or something in the top but for animals that don't require uvb that is also an option to hold in that humidity thank you so much i heard geckos for sponsoring this video <laughs> those are i don't know how to end this section next category <laughs> Next category is best for creatures that love humidity. So my number one top recommendation for this is gonna be any kind of PVC tank. Um, lots of different brands make these. Custom Reptile Habitats, Vision Cages. The Vision Cages are relatively inexpensive um, and they're smaller. They're not the prettiest tanks to look at, but they do last for quite a while. That is what my cave gecko goes in. Cave geckos love humidity and that thing stays very humid. The awesome thing about those Vision Cages is that the only mesh screen part is just one strip on the back. So you can put lights over that if you need to. Otherwise, all that humidity is trapped in. These are the custom cages tanks. They 
are made by Vision Cages. It's just another company within that company. These are really good. This one is specifically made for higher humidity. The metal doesn't rust and stuff. It doesn't hold in humidity as good as something like a Vision Cage would, but it do, you don't have to worry about it rusting, things like that. You also have custom reptile habitats. They actually make these little grids that go over the mesh so you can trap in more humidity if you need to. I said grid. It's like a, another piece of PVC that goes over the mesh to trap in more humidity. Super helpful. You also have the option of making your own. I've never made my own PVC tank, never made my own acrylic tank. Don't know how that works, but people do it and it works. <laughs> um, Serpa Design made an entire homemade waterproof furniture tank for his crested geckos. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely watch that. Watch those to see how he did that because I don't know. That is way beyond my comprehension and talent levels. Also, you do have the option of just getting a cheap glass tank uh, with a screen lid and just covering up that screen lid. That also will help you hold in humidity. You can cover that up with something like a towel. Aluminum foil, make sure that you allow your animal to breathe, make sure that there is some sort of ventilation happening, but you can cover some of that up. That has helped us when we had our ball pythons in glass tanks. Um, it helped them to make sure they could shed and all that jazz. Yeah, so my personal recommendation for keeping humidity up in a tank is gonna be those vision cages, definitely number one at the forefront, um, or custom reptile, custom reptile habitats with that PVC piece on top. Best for arid sort of animals. Um, anything that is going to hold in at least some heat, but also have lots of ventilation so the tank doesn't get wet and like stay wet and humid and gross because arid animals come from desert-like spaces, whether that is deserts that you picture like with sand or like the hard packed in clay sort of deserts. Deserts usually have like a breeze that goes through. They usually have ventilation and air. So it's not just hot stagnant air on that animal. For arid creatures, my personal top recommendations are gonna be that Dubia tank because it has a very giant screen, that takes up the entire top. So lots of places for lights, lots of places for heating sources and lots of places to just vent. Another one that I absolutely loved was an Amazon brand. I'll leave it like right here because I don't know what it was. That tank for my leopard gecko was amazing. So it has the entire ventilated top, but then there's an entire side panel that's also ventilated to allow for cross ventilation. I thought that was a fantastic idea, but the rest is enclosed. So you, it holds the heat in. Love that tank. And of course you have custom cages and on this other side of me, custom reptile habitats. They have the big ventilation in the top so you can put lights and heat and it can ventilate, but also it is enclosed all the way around so it will hold in heat. Best for ventilation. So if you have an animal that likes a lot of ventilation, then highly suggest, currently for my Crested Gecko Dexter, I am using a Reptizoo chameleon tank and it has been so great. Um, he obviously likes a lot of humidity, but Crested Geckos do like for their tanks to dry out a bit during the day and that tank is doing so good. Three of the four walls are mesh, except for, for Dexter, I did spray foam the back to make like a built-in background and also to kind of hold in a little more humidity. But three of those four walls are the mesh screen, the front is glass, so there's a lot of cross ventilation having the top is also mesh screens. You can do lights and things like that. And the awesome thing about that tank is there is actually a opening for the front. So if you are doing something like a chameleon in that tank, you can open the big door and you can open the bottom part and pull big plants in and out with no issue at all. It makes it easier to change the substrate as well. If you don't have like a bioactive tank and you are cleaning that substrate out normally, super easy to just open that drawer and pull the substrate out. If you aren't using a loose substrate, makes it even easier. You just pull the paper towel or whatever you have in the bottom out and you don't even have to open the big door. Super easy, absolutely love that tank so much. There are also the Refty Breeze tanks. I have not used those, so I can't speak much on those, but they seem to be very popular. Homemade tanks, depending on how big this animal is, like thinking like iguana sized reptiles when people build outdoor enclosures for them and they use like chicken wire sort of situation. That is definitely an option if you have big animals, especially if you want to give them outside playtime. And the other one is custom cages. Custom cages actually has the option to do like big, beautiful custom furniture style enclosures with the wire screen sides for ventilation. I think it's absolutely awesome that you can do that. So if you're wanting like a centerpiece for your living room or something like that, that is an option. And this last section is just my personal favorite overall. So in the grand scheme of things, my absolute favorite enclosures are number one, 
most favorite is actually the dubia.com enclosure. It is not as extravagant as things like this, but just for the sheer price and that giant tank that you get. And it's such a beautiful tank. Just for that alone, that is my favorite. Also, I just really like dubia.com in general as a company. I like the other companies too, but just what they do and them always like giving out roaches to people who were in the hurricane or were like affected by wildfires or whatever natural disaster is going on. I just think that's so cool. And yeah, but their tanks themselves are my favorite. I just feel like that's an amazing price for a really nice looking tank. Also another favorite is the Ihergecko's tank just because of the price. That is such a low price to convert your tank. Depending on what animals go in that tank, it doesn't have to be a giant DIY project. It could be as simple as just putting that conversion kit in and being done. For the price and for certain situations, the conversion kit is a great option. My other absolute favorite, I guess we're just doing top three. No specific order, I guess. I don't know if I see the specific order. I don't know. I'm tired. I've done too many. Too many videos. Um, my other absolute favorite is Custom Reptile Habitats. I just really like how they look. They've held up so well. I love that some of the doors are glass. I love that you can get like universal rocks put into the back or I mean they send you the pieces to do the universal rocks. It looks really good. I don't know. I just really like the Custom Reptile Habitats enclosure. The thing with their enclosure is it does take quite a while to get to you. So if you need something, write me out. That's not going to be the best option for you. But I mean, of course, I really like this. Of course, I really like the other ones too. But those are just my top personal favorite three. You guys always get upset when I don't give a personal favorite, but those are my personal favorites. But that is it. That is all that I have for this week's video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you are trying to figure out what sort of enclosure you need for your animal or you are planning to get for your animal, hopefully that helped you out. Thanks again to Iron Geckos for sponsoring this video. And yeah, as always, if you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on the socials and like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications every single time I put on a new video, which is every Sunday, which is a lot of Sundays and sometimes shorts on Wednesdays. This week's Instagram chat is here. And this week's Scratch chat is here. Thanks so much for liking, following, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. All that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. The custom cages are pretty, this is not custom ca cages. This is custom cages. These are the custom cages. What was the other one I said? I just said another one. I think Zoomed tanks now, you also have, well, actually, meh. Both of them, let me check. It's easier to check now than to edit this later. Okay. And of course, custom reptile, nope, custom habitats, custom cages. It's a lot and of humidity, but chameleons, but crusty geckos do.